So the anime actually got me to care about Kabuto's past. What is this? So this episode of Naruto Shippuden, I felt as though in the beginning some of the bits with Sasuke, Itachi, and Kabuto kind of started feeling a bit redundant. It was kind of like, no, trust me, no, trust me. But it actually started leading somewhere towards the midway of the episode where, you know, you kind of start seeing a little bit more of like, the leaf was kind of like a fucked up place. Like, I, I feel as though with this episode, it definitely gives you a bit of a like, yeah, the leaf kind of, in a way, <laughs> deserves some of the shit that it got because some of these people are really some cruel and fucked up people. Um, the little flashback that we got with Sasuke and Toby when they're in that like bar and all those people are just like, yeah, I wish we would have got them ourselves. I mean, they're justified because first of all, to their knowledge, Itachi is a piece of shit. You know, they don't really know the truth and whatnot. So of course they're gonna be there. They're drunk. They're amongst each other. So they're gonna be like that. But if you really look at the leaf and take into account all the shit they've done, you know, when Nar told his little kid how they treated him like a piece of shit, how they talk shit about Itachi like that when they don't even know the truth. But again, I, I guess the Itachi part, like, it makes sense because to their knowledge, uh, Itachi's garbage, he's a traitor, he's, you know, he, he did all the stuff that he did. They don't know the truth and they probably would never know the truth as explained by Toby. I like that part and it really just, I feel as though certain parts like that, it kind of justifies why Sasuke would feel the way he does, because, you know, a lot of people always like to say, Sasuke is emo, he has no reason to be mad, and people are talking about his brother right there in front of his ears, saying how they would love to fucking beat the shit out of him and kill him, and they wish they were the ones that got him, and talking shit about Sasuke himself as well, right there, and it's like, yeah, they don't know that Sasuke's right there, but regardless of what, anybody would feel that way, and anybody would be like, these fucking idiots don't know shit, so, you know, people always try to say Sasuke has no reason to be angry whatsoever, like, what? And I'm not gonna lie, I'm shocked as hell that the ending of the episode, or midway to the end of the episode, the Kabuto flashback actually was very, very good. Because I remember in the manga, it felt like nails on a chalkboard to read that every week. But the anime is actually making me really care. The music, the voice acting, the way they're putting it together, they're actually doing a very good job. I'm hoping, because we got a bit of it in this episode, it was like about in the 15, 16 minute mark towards the end that we got the Kabuto flashback. I'm hoping that next week's episode just clears all the content that we have with Kabuto's flashback so we don't have to go through this for week after week after week because in the manga, this felt very dreadful. I, I, I'd be 100% honest with you. I remember I was like in my manga reviews, yo, I can't take much more. I'm on the edge. So I'm really hoping that they just squeeze this all in one episode and do it as good as they did this episode because I legitimately felt for Kabuto and and when he said, you know, I was n nobody right from the start, I wasn't anything right from the start, um, it makes you feel for the character. I think they handled all that part really nicely. It actually makes you feel like, I do give a fuck about Kabuto for some weird reason. The anime make me, made me give a fuck about Kabuto because uh, I've never given a fuck about Kabuto. He's always just, hey, he's the weird nerdy guy that wants to roll tomorrow's dick. But with this episode, it's just... You see when he was a little kid and how he was kind of like having it hard in the group home and, you know, he's in a weird place and that motherly figure kind of also makes you feel a little bad for him as well. So I think they're doing a good job. If they handle it like they handled it with this episode, then Kabuto's flashback can actually be a pretty interesting and enjoyable <laughs> uh, flashback. I, I feel weird saying that because I really didn't enjoy this part in the manga at all. I just felt like, ugh. And overall, I felt like this was actually a very good episode. Again, the bits in the beginning was some of the stuff that I was like, uh, felt a bit redundant. But overall, I just felt as though it was really taking a big part of questioning the Leaf Village and questioning, like, you know, people have their different sides of what they see the Leaf as. You know, Itachi to this day, even after everything he'd been through, he still sees himself as Itachi from the Hidden Leaf. Opposed to Kabuto, where he was in a similar situation, he kind of, like, sees it in a different way. He's kind of like, fuck the Leaf. Same thing with Sasuke. He kind of had a fucked up situation with the Leaf as well. And he's like, fuck the Leaf. I want to destroy it, but I want to destroy it on my terms. I don't want you, or I don't want nobody involved. I want it to just be me. So everybody has their different take on the Hidden Leaf and what they've been through and their experiences, and I think it's kind of like one of those situations where it's, I guess, not really grass is greener on the other side, but it's more as though I have my way of wh what I feel I got out of the Hidden Leaf, and this is why I hate the Hidden Leaf, or this is why I still represent the Hidden Leaf, and it's just different stories from what they got out of the Hidden Leaf, but if you really look at it, all three of these people, it's kind of like, 
fuck the Hidden Leaf because they've done some fucked up shit. Itachi, look what all he went through before the Hidden Leaf. Uh, Kabuto, if you see in th this episode at the end, you you'll get more of it next episode. But in this episode, towards the end, the Hidden Leaf is like, nah, we're not giving them another penny. The nations are like, we ain't giving them shit to that group home. So you can already see some of the corruption from the Hidden Leaf as well. And then, of course, everything Sasuke went through in the Hidden Leaf, kind of, you know, just being like by himself and it was because of them that his brother so you know you get a lot of what the hidden leaf did and i feel like you got a lot of that out of that in this episode some of the minuses in this episode definitely again i felt a lot of the repetitive nature in the beginning with sasuke itachi and kabuto kept going back and forth no i'm your brother no you should trust me so that was some of the minuses of the episode the negatives but for the most part i felt as though they handled it pretty good and i think that the kabuto flashback <laughs> is actually exciting to see if they can handle it as well as they did with this episode because they did a great job keeping it real on uh, the Kabuto flashback. I'm going to give this one 8 out of 10. It was a very good episode. Hopefully they do it as good again with uh, next week's episode because I'm, I'm looking forward to it actually. But no more than next week's episode, please, because I do not want 10,000 weeks of Kabuto's life story. But let me know what you think of this episode. First of all, the whole Kabuto flashback thing. Did you actually get some enjoyment out of it? Do you think that they could actually do better than the manga with next week's episode? Because that's what I'm really hoping for. Again, I'm not a fan of the that bit in the manga, so... Hopefully they do it. And also, what is your take on the Hidden Leaf, knowing all that you know about it, regarding all the bad stuff they've done, also some of the good stuff that they do? Do you feel as though the Hidden Leaf does, in a way, owe uh, a debt to all the kind of fucked up shit they've done, you know, the lives that they've ruined as well? What, what is your take on that? Because for me, I feel as though the Hidden Leaf is always like, put out there as like, yeah, this is the good village, this is the village that they don't do no wrong. And you see these people's lives, and it's because of the Hidden Leaf that their lives are fucked up. So it really makes you want to examine the Leaf closely and look at like, they're not as good as it's portrayed in the manga and as portrayed as, you know, from the people within the series as like, yeah, the Hidden Leaf, Will of Fire, yeah, yeah, Will of Fire, let's burn down people's lives. But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you're actually glad that they're doing the Kabuto flashback some justice because hopefully after this Kabuto flashback is over, we can get some of that counterpart to Izanagi and see what's up with that. I'm excited for that as well. I'm Fnub World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.